As a health professional, you are on the front lines, and every single patient chart, every community survey is just a stream of data. But how do you take all that raw information and turn it into a clear, compelling story that actually drives action? Well, let's open up our toolkit and see exactly how we can transform that data into something powerful. Okay, this probably looks familiar, right? We've all seen a list of patient data that looks something like this, a complete jumble of numbers, letters, and words. What's the story here? Is there a hidden outbreak in these numbers? Is one treatment working better than another? Right now, it's impossible to tell. The message is completely lost in the noise. So that's the big question, isn't it? How do we get from this chaos to real clarity? How do we organize this data so it can actually support the evidence-based decisions you make every day, whether you're on a maternity ward or in a public health office? That's exactly what we're going to break down, step by step. Well, the trick is to think of it like having a toolkit. And to open this toolkit, you only need to ask one single simple question about your data. And that one question will tell you exactly which tool to grab. And here it is, that one crucial question. Is my data in categories or is it in numbers? So on the left, you've got qualitative data. These are things you sort into groups like blood types or delivery types. On the right, you've got quantitative data, things you actually measure like birth weight in kilograms or a patient's age. Getting this right is the first most important step. It's the master key that unlocks the right way to visualize your data and tell a clear story. All right, let's start with the tools for your categorical data. So when your data is all about groups or types, like normal delivery versus cesarean, these are the charts you're gonna to wanna to reach for. First up, the trusty bar chart. Think of the bar chart as your go-to tool for a quick and clear comparison. Its job is simple, to show you at a glance which group is bigger. And here's a great example of why this is so powerful. Looking at this data from the Comfo Anoki Teaching Hospital, you don't have to squint at a table or count things up to see that blood group B is the most common among these patients. A simple bar chart just hands you the answer instantly. That's its power. All right, next tool in our kit, the pie chart. You want to use this one when you're trying to show how different categories make up a total, you know, 100% of something. It's perfect for answering the question, what percentage of the whole pie does this one group take up? For instance, look at this. This chart immediately shows that normal deliveries are, by far, the biggest slice of the pie in this maternity ward. These visual slices give you a much more intuitive feel for the proportions than just a list of percentages ever could. And this kind of at-a-glance insight is vital for things like resource planning and understanding the workload on your ward. Okay, let's switch gears and move to the other side of our toolkit. What happens when your data isn't in neat little categories, but instead it's all about measurements and numbers? This is where the histogram comes in. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks a lot like a bar chart, right? But its job is totally different. A histogram's purpose is to show you the shape of your data, where the values tend to cluster, how spread out they are, and if there are any outliers, you know, those values that are way higher or lower than everything else. So in this example, we're looking at the age distribution of patients. We've grouped the data into ranges, like everyone from 20 to 29 years old. And the height of the bar tells us how many people fall into that specific age group. You can instantly see which age brackets are most common in your clinic. And this is the absolute key detail you need to see. See how the bars are touching? That is not an accident. It's a really important visual cue that tells you the data is continuous. It means the data can be any value within a range, like a patient's age or weight. There are no gaps. But what if your numbers aren't just a snapshot? What if they tell a story that unfolds over weeks or months or even years? For that, you need a line graph. It is the ultimate storyteller for showing trends. And this is where a line graph becomes incredibly powerful. It can visualize decades of public health progress in a single clear line, like the decline in maternal mortality rates. Each point connects to the next, creating a clear story of change, helping you see the real world impact of health interventions over time. Okay. Now, first specialty tool. We've looked at symbol variables, but what if you want to see if two different numerical things are connected to each other? Well, that is the exact job of the scatter plot. It helps you investigate if there's a relationship, or what we call a correlation, between two totally different measurements. A scatter plot is perfect for exploring a clinical question just like this one. For every single patient, you have two different numbers, their age and their blood pressure. A scatter plot lets you plot those two numbers together as a single point so you can step back and see if a pattern emerges. 
So here's how it works. You start with data that looks like this, one row for each patient, with a column for age and another for blood pressure. So patient one, who is 35 with a blood pressure of 120, becomes a single dot on our graph. Patient two, 58 with a pressure of 145, becomes another dot. And when you plot all your patients like this, you can start to see if a pattern shows up. Like, do the dots tend to go up and to the right? That might suggest a connection between getting older and having higher blood pressure. Okay, we've gone through the whole toolkit. That's a lot to remember. So how do you pick the right one in the heat of the moment? Let's boil it all down into a super simple guide. It all comes down to your goal. Just ask yourself, what am I trying to do? If you want to compare groups, grab the bar chart. If you need to show parts of a whole, the pie chart is your friend. Want to see how your numbers are spread out? Use a histogram. Are you tracking changes over time? That's a job for the line graph. And finally, if you need to see a relationship between two sets of numbers, the scatter plot is what you need. At the end of the day, clear and accurate data presentation is the very foundation of evidence-based practice. Your patient records, your community surveys, they hold the evidence needed to improve care and save lives. The only question left is, now that you have the tools, what story will you tell?